Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing good. So today we will try to understand display business rule in service now. So let's get started and try to understand what is display business rule in service now. First of all, so display business rule are processed when a user requests a record form. The data is read from the database and the form is presented to the user. Display business rules are get executed. So once data is read from the database and form is being presented to user at that point of time, display business rule runs. Okay. So the current object is available and represent the record retrieved from the database. So we can use current object to, you know, whenever we need to retrieve, you know, current object from the database, we can use current object. It is available in display business rule. And the primary objective of display business rule is used to a shared scratchpad object, g underscore scratchpad, which is also sent to the client as a part of the form. Used to provide client script access to the server side object. So, if client side needs, you know, any of server side data, which is not available on the form, we can use um, display business rule to store that data into g underscore scratchpad variable. So we can use the underscore scratch variable to store the server side data and we can use that data on uh, client side. Okay. So on our uh, form, some of the data is not present, right? Like reference data. So if you need any kind of reference data or any data which is not available on the form, so you can use display business rule. Okay. In that scenario, come here our personal instance and we'll try to understand some of the scenario where we can use display business rule so first of all we have to go to the business rule and click on new so this is the form where you can create a uh, display business rule let's select incident for an example and we'll try to see what all things can be done by using display business rule okay so let's select incident table quickly you can click on advance and when to run okay so when we select display business rule let's see see all the operation like insert update all has cleaned up right there is no option to check it because this display business rule runs when form is presented to user okay when you can say simply when form loads so there is nothing to do with the insert update and any of operation because it doesn't run on any of operation it runs when form loads and presented to user okay so what what all things can be done here if you click on action so you can set the fields value here like if i go to incident table here and let's open one of the record So by using display business rule, we can set the values on the form. Like if I want to set some color value, I can simply do it by set fields value here. Okay. And I can do it by using current because I told you current object is accessible from display business rule and it represents to the current record. Okay. So you can use like for this if you want to set any specific color here you can use this action you can directly set it for like color and you can select uh, in your value let's select as the user and if you want to set some value category or any value you can select over here and you can set it okay and here you could see you can add message as well so if you click here you can show some message like i have selected caller is test user so you just i'm just showing it for your reference you can do it for your you know scenario or use case a uh, caller is mm -mm -mm, take dynamic caller is test user so you can you know add message as well and if you want to set value you can set it from here also you can use current dot caller okay maybe caller id would be the backend value of for this so caller so you can use 
you know see uh, call, current dot caller id and you can pass some you know static value as well as dynamic value as per your requirement so you can set it through here as well and if you want you can easily set it through here as well you can pop up the message also by using this message field so let's try to implement some of the scenario and here we can use a scratchpad variable to store you know some of the record which is not available on the form actually you can store the value which is available on the form but by you by using client script we can easily get the value from the form so it is not required to you know store that value in the scratchpad the value which is not available on the form you can uh, use g underscore scratchpad by uh, for storing those value like um, if you see here opened by so opened by is not available on the form so maybe you can use this scratchpad variable to store that value or maybe the reference value reference will value so this caller is the reference field right and if i want to store some uh, value like caller department uh, caller um, manager company or something so this reference value i can store in a scratch pad and if it requires i can use it on client side so let's try to implement some of the use case scenarios so you, you will be having better understanding of it so let me quickly save it test pr and here what i have done i have not used a script in my next scenario i'm going to use a script here i what i have done i have just set the value caller to test user and i have just add the message so let's quickly see how it looks okay so okay now let me refresh it so you can see here for this caller this test user has been automatically you know uh, come here and you could see caller is test user has been also pop up as an info message so this is how you can use the actions so here you can set the fill values you can add the message now we'll try to understand how can you use g underscore scratch pad and which all scenario you can use it okay so i have taken this two use case where in first use case what i'm going to do is i'm going to set location as caller location or incident form so here if i'm going to rephrase it on load we are able to see some of the value here location so what i want like whatever location is having this uh, user which i'm selecting on caller i want to set the same location for the same location for the incident table okay so here i can't see location field just i'm going to add location field on the form location okay So here I'm going to select uh, some location. What happened? So here I'm going to select uh, location as what should I select? Let's select this one and let's save it. Okay. 
keys so we have selected this location okay so now what i'm going to do is uh, whenever i'm selecting this taste user so location of that user should get populated into location here directly okay so for that i'm going to write display business rule so let me show you quickly so i'm going to inactivate this one So I give the name as set location as callers location and I'm going to select here incident table. Let's select it quickly. When to run I'm selecting this play business rule here. Okay an action i'm not going to define anything here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write g underscore scratch pad dot scratch pad dot i'm going to define you know one variable as a location and here i'm going to use current dot caller id dot location so i am doing dot walking and i have taken this uh, uh, back and value of the caller and then i have taken back and value of the location from the this user field which is the caller uh, id is caller field is referring to this user table okay so i have a store here scratch uh, this so caller location i have stored in this scratchpad dot location variable now i'm going to use this variable on client side so let's save it now let's create client script okay okay so now here we have to create a you know uh, client script and here i have to set the value of the location field so set location and here again i need to select the incident table it's so kind of very obvious so i'm selecting incident table over here now let's uh, select on chains because on chains of the color field i want to set the uh, location right so let's set it out so here what i'm going to do is just we need to set the value of uh, location field right so here i am giving whenever value is being changed on the caller i am just setting the value g underscore form dot set value here i need to pass the location back in value of the location and here i can use this g underscore dot g underscore dot location the variable which we have defined and stored the value okay and we are done nothing which has to be done okay okay yeah now we are done so whatever value we are getting here we are setting into this location okay now we are come and refresh it 
So let's select test user itself because we have added location for this user. So once we select this uh, test user, you could see this location has been pop up. So we have selected this EMEA right for the location. So you could see here this has been pop up here. So this was the you know uh, use case for display business rule. Here you can have you can try to you know implement the second use case from yourself. And uh, I have told you many scenario which um, you can use you know uh, for um, display business rule. Here for add info message right add message you can add here. It's, you can do it through script as well. You can just add gs dot add info message and you can pop up whatever uh, message you want to show here. Okay, on the any form. So this is how you can use display business rule. This is quite useful. And um, yeah, if you find my uh, video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.